Alright guys, got a $25 box of pennies. We're going to go ahead and open it up with this knife. I think this is actually the first time I've used a knife to open a box like this. And there we go. And I'm not all uncirculated. We'll hop right into it. Alright guys, on the first roll we have our first wheat. It is a 55 Denver. Sweet. We will keep going. Alright guys, we're on the 11th roll. And we have our second wheat. And we also have a Canadian here. Canadian is a 1981. And our second wheat is a 1944 Denver. Sweet. Let's see if there's any more. And we'll keep going. Alright, guys, we're on our 20th roll, and we have our third wheat right here. It is a 1956 Denver. We will keep going. Alright guys, we're 23 rolls in and we have our fourth wheat. It is a 1949 plane. Sweet. We'll keep going. Alright guys, on our 30th roll, I just pulled it out. And look at that, we have a Wheat Reverse Ender. Pretty sweet. I'll save it for last and we'll keep going. Alright guys, we have six rolls left and we have our fifth Wheat, a 1941 plane. We'll keep going. Guys. Very next roll. I'm so excited. We have five rolls left, not including the under. And uh, you guys can see this right here. I don't know if you can. I saw the edge of it, and I slid it back. And there she is, 190-something. We're going to go ahead and find out here live what date it is. Um, I have not touched it yet. I just slid back these coins, and... Oh boy. Okay, this is my this is my fifth one ever, so let's see. It's a 1900. That's the same year as my first Indian. Oh, that thing is amazing. Okay. If you guys don't know, 1900 was the year that um, my first Indian head that I ever found was that year. Oh, that is awesome, guys. This is my fifth one ever, and I've been doing this for two years. That thing is amazing. Whoops. Um, I can see a little bit of Liberty there. But I think that's the best detail I've ever found one in. Or the best condition. Wow, guys. That is awesome. I found an Indian head on vacation. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool, guys. It's my fifth one. Second one of 2017. <clears throat> Alright, we'll keep going. <clears throat> Alright, guys, very next roll again. And we have um, our sixth wheat. 1944 plane. Pretty sweet. We'll keep going. Actually, I'll do the next roll live. Since we've gotten three cool things in a row. See if we can get a wheat or anything here. No. Nope. Alright. Keep going. Alright guys, we're on the ender roll. It is a wheat reverse. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And we'll see what year it is. There it is. 
It is a 1953 plane. That is our 7th wheat. And... Uh, there's a nice shiny 1982. Uh, and I think that's it. We'll get to what we found. Alright guys, here's what we found. We're going to start over here. We have an uncirculated 1982 and a nice looking 2009 Denver. I like to keep the 2009s that are nice and shiny. I see too many that are just beat up and dirty. Um, we have a lot of San Francisco's today. 73, 72, 69, and 68. For the Canadians, we have a 2005, 1981, and a 1962. Younghead. For the Wheats, we have seven. We have a 56 Denver, 55 Denver, four, uh, 53 Plain, 49 Plain, 44 Denver, and 44 Plain. And the oldest is a 41 Plain. And down here, the gem of the hunt is a 1900 Indian Head Penny. It's my fifth one ever. And, uh, a few videos probably after this video, or maybe before this video, I'm not sure. But uh, right now we're at the uh, Texas Ranch where we found all those arrowheads. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and uh, check it out. I'll link it up in the iCard up there. Um, also, um, uh, I found a few arrowheads. Um, here's a few chips. But I think it's kind of funny that I found an Indian penny, Indian head penny here, when I was looking for uh, Indian arrowheads. So, that's kind of funny. Um, not the right kind of Indian I was looking for, but I'm not complaining. Still a pretty sweet find. Um, definitely not a lot newer than some of these. So, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.